Today, I'm going to tell you what I thought about Jason Day's pajama bottoms at the latest golf tournament. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Thought I would just go live, so I'm actually with you right now. Right now. Is anyone there? All right, it's probably just me. But since uh, I thought maybe you'd be grabbing a little lunch, maybe we could chit-chat about Jason Day. Uh, a name that you probably know, he's a professional golfer. I mean, he's been a, a consistently good golfer, but he's not necessarily one of the golf superstars. So if you don't know the name, you could be forgiven for that. But I believe this week he was playing, or this past weekend he was playing at the Century Tournament of Champions, and he recently left Nike and kind of bashed him on the way out. I don't know how I feel about that, but kind of bashed him on the way out, just saying like, all the guys are sponsored by Nike. Everyone watches the same Nike stuff. And so there's no individuality. And so he has left Nike and joined an upstart golf apparel supplier called Malbin Golf. Now, he's not the only one that has joined Malbin Golf. There have been some others, including some LPJ ladies, I believe. So thanks for joining me. What's happening, guys? Um, so I thought I would talk about this because if you haven't been following this, it caused a lot of ruckus. Now, I actually didn't watch the Century Tournament. You know, there just wasn't anyone playing that I really cared about. So I didn't see a single moment, minute, swing of it. However, I did see on a lot of videos and blogs and sports websites uh, controversy about Jason Day. So I want to show you what he was wearing here. Let's see if I can pull this up for you because uh, the people are saying, basically, <laughs> now that he's with Malvin Golf, and he's wearing their stuff. The pants he was wearing look like pajama bottoms, okay? So I actually kind of tend to agree with that. I don't know actually how my audio is coming across. I'm kind of cranking up the gain here a little bit. Um, but I would actually say that I do agree that they looked like pajama bottoms. And then I actually went to Malvin Golf. So I think it actually worked. It got a little publicity for this company, and I went to their website. And if you have never been there, this is a screenshot I took of it. They sell a lot of stuff from apparel to bags and, and whatnot. But one of the things that I wanted to mention here is that they seem to be kind of on the higher end of the price point. So you can see here uh, their wind shirt, $140. What do they've got here? Uh, the thermal base layer, $77. Parlay striped SS shirt, $170. You know, from bags to accessories, they all seem to be kind of pricey, which is what you'd expect for a company that can afford to sponsor a professional at any level. Now, what I will say about this is I think part of this has worked. They've gotten some attention. The other thing I will say about Malvin Golf is that going through it, and you can see here on this screenshot, some of their stuff is pretty eye-catching. You know, what they have is a lot of like branded stuff like coca-cola shirts it says coca-cola across the front here i actually like these parlay striped shirts they look like baseball jerseys so there's definitely some style to it and i bring this up because i think what has been a little controversial lately is what people wear on the golf course now i kind of wear i wear a lot of golf clothing all day time all right because it's comfy especially if it breathes well wicks away moisture stretches a little bit you know what i'm saying you know when i'm doing my 250 pound uh kettleball that's a lie but uh you know you want to stay comfortable i just want to be comfortable because <laughs> nothing's gonna make this mug look good so what i wanted to mention here is that live golf has gone to allow shorts. So it's kind of much more casual. Now, one of the things that was funny when they did that is I actually was wondering, would that register? You know, what's that going to look like and all that stuff? But as soon as they did it, it doesn't even register to me when I'm watching, you know, seeing professional golfers on screen wearing shorts. And probably part of that is that I'm so conditioned because I go on the golf course and everyone's wearing shorts. So it's not like something where I'm like aghast and offended by this casualness on the golf course. Uh, but did I think the Jason Day pajama bottom look was a great look? I mean, I didn't think it was super stylish, but it was different. And I actually found it fine because, you know, the PGA Tour doesn't allow shorts. And so there's a little bit of this, I think, thought or... Um, 
view that the PGA Tour is a little more staid, a little more conservative, more formal. You know, and sometimes the guys have to kind of dress up and they're in their khakis and, you know, the everything's all tucked in and quaffed and everyone's wearing an ascot and a, smoking a pipe on the golf course. But one of the things that I like about it is it's just a little more irreverent. So ironically, I feel like the PGA Tour, who doesn't allow shorts, actually has now more, let's call it, whimsy in their clothing thanks to jason day and some of these other people that are wearing mall bond so what do i think about it i think it's fine <laughs> one thing i would say is i feel like the pants could be maybe a bit more tailored they kind of look like mc hammer bottoms you know like parachute pants so maybe not the best look ever but you know i do like the pattern on there i like some of the other mall bond clothing if it weren't so expensive i'd pick some up you know, just to add a little bit of personality out there, a little bit of spice to life. So I actually kind of dug it, man. Uh, I know some people were uh, aghast at it. Some people were offended. Some people's eyes melted out of their head at the sight of it. Um, but I just kind of like that there's, I don't know, just a little less like stuffiness, a little less stick up the butt kind of attitude with golf. And it's just a little more casual, have a little more fun. Dude, John Daly wore plaid pants or something when he golfed. And one of my favorite golfers of all time, Payne Stewart, obviously wore the knickers and uh, the newsboy cap and all that stuff. So uh, good on Jason Day. Again, I wouldn't say I loved the look, but I loved the idea. So that is it. I want to hear what you think about Jason Day's look with Malbin Golf. Any other thoughts on him leaving separating maybe uh, uh and other people separating from nike recently so um just would love to hear your thoughts on it and you know what do you wear on the golf course i go casual dude i go casual the fact that i wear clothes on the golf course at all is just because of the rules on the golf course otherwise i'd go uh totally adam and eve on it so that's it for today peter brown panda out <laughs>